Hi, my name is Lara Camilla Pinya and I'm a lecturer in architecture here at the UWA School of Design. My background is in low income housing and working with low income communities uh, and finding solutions to improve uh, housing. Uh, we were approached by Millennium Kids who are actually working in Zimbabwe uh, with a community that's already starting to recycle plastic, collect plastic. The problem we were trying to solve uh, was finding ways where we could reuse plastic waste and uh, have it to benefit communities that uh, needed to improve their living conditions. So here at the UWA School of Design, our students, um, these type of students, take a design research-based approach. Uh, so the first initial phase, they'll do a lot of research. So they'll understand everything and anything about plastic. Uh, they'll also under, uh, look into housing and different types of architectural products. Very importantly, is they'll look into the location that they're working in. Uh, because not all uh, locations are the same and each location has its own uh, characteristics, its own type of techniques, its own skills that people already know. Uh, so they'll take all of that together and they'll start testing and researching. A lot of times we make prototypes, uh, sometimes it's not out of plastic straight away, so we'll have wax models or we'll have smaller bits of cardboard trying to understand things. Uh, and then slowly we'll refine those, those products and, and try and make them work. One of the very important things was that uh, the design solution has, had to be low-tech, so someone that wasn't a skilled uh, worker or didn't have any building skills could actually uh, make this uh, with very limited resources. Our students always surprise us uh, with everything that they do. Um, I had always imagined in my head a lot of uh, cladding systems, so probably using a lot of moulding, uh, but students then tended to take the the products that they came up with into different areas, so weaving, uh, joining, framing, moulding. And I think uh, some of the, the projects that surprised me the most were the ones that you almost didn't have to do too much. Some of the projects didn't even involve any heating, so you wouldn't have to have a toaster or a microwave at home. You could actually just stretch a plastic bag and create a, a fabric, to a thread to weave. Uh, so those, those quite surprised me of how low-tech they could really be. They're, they're all architects or students, so it, the whole idea wasn't just about designing the product. Uh, we also asked them to design um, housing. We started with Millennium Kids in Zimbabwe, and then we saw the potential of this and the interesting products that students were creating, and we carried on. We ran another two studios. The approach that the students took would be to look at a single family house, uh, design that house, understand how that house could be replicated, and then they would incorporate the architectural product into the housing. Something that we found when we were looking at this was um, there's a lot of plastic waste. Uh, it is a fantastic material, but it also is a huge problem. But we also saw that uh, architecture students as creatives, as designers, uh, held a huge responsibility in tackling this because it's about thinking of the whole life cycle of plastic. So not just where it starts and uh, what we do with it, but also thinking of the future and what can you do with it. Uh, we all know that plastic is around for hundreds of years, um, but if we can actually find a way to incorporate it into housing instead of leaving it lying on our beaches uh, and making it useful to someone, the first solution, so it's good that we do have a solution, is producing less of it, uh, but also understanding what we, what we do with it afterwards. So another huge issue is that um, a lot of times plastic products are made and we mix different types of plastics. So that immediately limits the, the possibility of it being recycled again. It's like making a cake and trying to take the egg out afterwards. We can't recycle plastic if it's got two different types of plastic. We're just producing plastic without thinking of it in the long run. So what we really need to do is, maybe we don't eliminate all of it, but we use it where it's very essential. I think this project uh, does provide great opportunities because it starts a conversation about how we can reuse plastic. Uh, it starts to help us think how we can help uh, communities that uh, need resources to rebuild their houses or maintain their houses. Uh, it empowers communities as well. Uh, we're teaching them new skills, very simple skills that they can do at home and they don't need any powerful or big machinery to do it. Um, so I, I think it, it does start a good conversation about how we can start to reuse plastic. I often feel like it's my duty to let students know that there's different ways of thinking about materials and architecture. And I've had many students come back to me afterwards and say, I really became interested in this. I'm looking into this a lot further. Um, so it does open a lot of doors to students that, may, that might have thought that architecture is only building uh, high rise uh, buildings. And there's so much more that we can do. Um, we, we learn so much the, the five years that we spend here. Uh, and then we can take that knowledge and, and help other people and teach them 
I'm, I'm really super focused on working to improve living conditions or improve people's lives in general. So I find that um, if we're going to reuse it somehow, it needs to, to be meaningful. So many people need our help uh, or, or need to be empowered to make things themselves. So I'm really interested in, in making products that help people, uh, but something that can have an impact on people's lives. So I think something that we take out of these studios is that um, there's, a, there's a lot of plastic waste and we all know that there's a lot of it and we all want to do something about it. Uh, and what we found here is that it's very easy to do something without a lot of machinery around uh, and you can just do something at home to, to transform plastic into something else. Uh, it's very easy to not select uh, plastic products if we don't need them. Uh, but it, it's, what came out of these studios is that um, anyone can do anything about the plastic problem.